Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I am Heather and this is Home and Health with Heather. I'm so happy you're on here today. I have been a little bit missing for I guess a month now. I was supposed to be posting right along and we've just had uh, lots of sickness going around. You know, it's that time of year. And then in addition to that, my daughter was doing cheer competitions every weekend. So I really didn't have much free time to be posting. However, I have been sticking to my Weight Watchers plan. So I was just going to share a couple of things that I did over the time, over the last month or so I'm going to share. I have been, like I said, staying on Weight Watchers uh, regularly. So I have been going down. My goal was to lose about one pound per week. I do have some thyroid issues. So I know I wasn't going to lose as fast as I used to in the past. Um, and so I really was trying to do it where I know I would lose it and keep it off. So my goal is to lose about one pound per week. So I'm gonna go do my weigh-in now. And then when we come back, I'll do uh, show a couple of my Sam's Club staples that I always keep in the fridge um, or on hand in the kitchen. And then I'll also share a couple of Super Bowl apps that I did uh, for the game. And then I will also share um, a couple of finds that I had. I went to Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I saw there. And then also I'm going to share my bathroom downstairs and see what you guys think. Okay, so I was down about 14 pounds from my original, I think that's what it was, 14 pounds from my original weight, um, and I'm really excited. I can finally feel like the difference in the way that I look, the difference in the way that my pants feel. I will say it doesn't always come at, you know, the easiest price. Um, it did take work, and it did take, um, you know, really sticking to the program. If you stick to Weight Watchers and you do what you're supposed to do, you will lose weight. And it's just about, you know, having that self-discipline, keeping busy when you're hungry, and only eating when you're hungry. And keeping those staples on hand. So let me show you some of the staples that I love from Sam's Club. Here, so these are um, my cage-free hard-boiled eggs. And um, I really like these because they are... Um, they're so versatile. You can use them for, uh, my son likes to see them. I just mash them up and put some mayo in it for a quick egg salad for him. But I like to just keep them on hand in my refrigerator at work so I can just, you know, if I'm feeling hungry, a uh, quick zero point food. The other thing are the light cheese sticks. Um, another thing to keep on hand. Quite a few times, only two points, but they're just so healthy. They have the flax um, in there as well. So they're the whole grain and flax tortilla wraps. The other thing I like to buy at Sam's Club are my veggies. Like... Um, the cucumbers, my daughter loves cucumbers. One thing I like to do for myself, my dad always did this growing up, but um, you can cut these up, keep the skin on, I take the skin off, um, and I just soak them in vinegar and put some salt and pepper, and I don't know why, I just love that. Um, but it's a, you know, obviously a zero point treat that you can have. This one, I brought my broccoli there too because it is um, washed and ready to eat, so it's pre-washed, ready to eat. And it's so, it's a huge bag of it. I don't know how they sell it for like $4.50. Um, but you can steam it or you can just eat it. I like to have it in the house. I like to have these in carrots and uh, cauliflower, you know, already cut and just in a bowl in the refrigerator. And especially for the kids, my mom always did this growing up when I would open the refrigerator, you know, after school looking for a snack to eat. She always have a big bowl of vegetables that were pre-cut. So it was kind of hard to choose anything else because it was like right there in front of you. Um, so, you know, then you just pair it with your favorite dressing. And the Oikos yogurt, I don't know if you guys have had these before, the triple zero. It does have stevia. Yes, yeah, so you like these? Okay. I don't think you're supposed to have that. 15 grams of protein um, and they're pretty good and very low points um, on the Weight Watchers plan. And then the other things I like to make sure I have are always, I always try to keep these in the fridge. Just a great um, little sweet treat. And this is something else I love to buy at Sam's Club too. They're only one point. Um, this is, it's not guacamole, so it doesn't have that uh, lime taste as much. Um, it's really mostly just avocado. So this is something that you can put like on your toast in the morning if you had a low point toast with a tomato, you know, spread it, you know, on your toast with a tomato and salt and pepper. Delicious breakfast. I usually actually use it with tortilla chips. I just pack about five or six large size tortilla chips 
uh, and eat that for a snack. But it's that healthy fat, so it's really good for you. Okay, so here are some Dollar Tree finds. There were so many different candies there if you celebrate um, Easter and you want to put some Reese's Peanut Butter Cup eggs, the small ones, the large ones. They had Harborough gummies that if you want to put in there. But I just couldn't believe all the name brand candy that they had there. I thought it was pretty good. They even had some cotton candy. I know for my kids, I probably will some, put some things in there. Also some really cute decoration ideas there for inside or outside the house. And then really, really cute um, indoor um, so decor the ideas. I saw some different things our, that you could put together uh, to make cute apps. indoor decor. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I did some shrimp cocktail with cocktail sauce, and that was really low points. I did buffalo chicken dip with chicken breast, fat-free cheese, fat-free sour cream, and fat-free ranch. So that was very low points. I did turkey wraps with the fat-free mozzarella in the middle, and I also did um, a ranch dip, which I used Hidden Valley Ranch a few tablespoons of it, but then I mostly mixed in so fat-free sour cream with that, so that was really low points. And then I also offered grapes as a zero-point appetizer and fat-free hot dog crescent. And then I just want to show you a quick picture or a video of my bathroom. I am redoing it to be Mickey Mouse. I just put that picture above the toilet just for something there. I'm going to fill it with maybe a picture of the castle. But if you see any Mickey so Mouse so much for joining stuff me I can add to it, feel free to comment and I below. I'll see you next time. And have fun losing weight. If you have any tricks or tips that you want to share with me, just remember to keep it simple. Um, don't overdo it. And make sure you're sticking to something that you can do forever. Because honestly, most of the time when you lose weight on Weight Watchers, it's something that you kind of have to stick with. Otherwise, you're going to gain the weight back. So that's why I'm sticking to this one pound a week. Um, which I think will help me in the end. And I hope it's gonna help you too. Have a good week.